The human mind is a lot like radio doom and gloom. It broadcasts a lot of negative stuff about the past. Old painful memories, hurts, memories of failure, things that went wrong, times people mistreated you. It also tends to broadcast a lot of doom and gloom about the future. Catastrophizing, predicting the worst, worrying about bad things that will happen or what will go wrong. And it also tends to find a lot of problems in the present. Wherever it looks, it finds problems. And that is a normal, natural human mind. Now, you can do positive thinking courses and learn to think more positively, there's no doubt. But that's not going to stop radio doom and gloom from broadcasting. That's not magically going to get rid of all your negative thoughts. Just like if you learn to speak Spanish, you're not going to forget English. So what are we supposed to do? Have you ever done some sort of really engaging activity like reading one of your favorite books and there was a radio playing in the background and you were so engaged, absorbed in what you were doing, you hardly even noticed the radio was there. It was just playing away. And then maybe one of your favorite songs came on the radio and suddenly you were really aware of the radio, maybe even singing along with it. And then the song changed and the radio kind of faded into the background again. What if you could learn to do that with your own mind? There are times when your mind is broadcasting really useful, helpful stuff about values and goals and strategies to make your life richer and fuller and more meaningful. What about at those times you could kind of tune into the radio and make good use of that kind of useful stuff that your mind is telling you? And the rest of the time when it's doing its radio doom and gloom stuff, just kind of let it play on in the background. This is very different to trying to ignore a radio, trying to not hear it. Have you ever tried to not hear or ignore a radio or a loud voice in a restaurant or a lawnmower outside your house? Isn't it the case the more you tried to ignore or not hear it, actually the more it bothered and disturbed you? It's also very different to bringing in a second radio trying to drown out the first one. Let's bring in radio logical and rational or radio positive and optimistic to try to drown out radio doom and gloom. It is very hard to focus your attention on an activity to engage in doing something that matters while you've got two radios playing two different channels in the background. One simple way that you can do this is just to notice when the radio is broadcasting its doom and gloom stuff and just simply name it. Ah, here's radio doom and gloom broadcasting in my head, or oh, there's my mind worrying or predicting the worst, or there's the I can't do it story, or there's the I'm not good enough story. Whatever it is that radio is doing, just non-judgmentally notice it and name it. So we don't get into a battle with these thoughts, we don't try to run away from these thoughts, we don't get swept away or bogged down with these thoughts. We just let them come and go like a radio playing in the background and instead we focus our attention and our energy on living by our values, doing things that help us to create a rich, full and meaningful life.